What is my favorite Lord of the Rings movie? I think Two Towers. I think Helm's Deep was just a lot better than the fight at Minas Tirith. It was just way better done. I mean, everything about it is just better. Look for me on the dawn of the third day or whatever. Established uh, reason that someone would rescue them. Still don't know what Anu Chess is. It's like a... It's a game where there are eight players and everyone has a little chessboard and they build pieces to put on their chessboard and then their pieces fight against minions or against the pieces the other players have built every round. And if you lose, you take damage, and eventually, if you run out of health, you'll die. And if you win, you deal damage to somebody else, perhaps. And then you get gold and get new pieces that are better and all that stuff. Sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I guess everything sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh to some people, yeah. I don't... I can't think of anything that that has in common with Yu-Gi-Oh. But... I'm on board. We'll take one armaments. I think still upgrade Bash. Inflame's a decent upgrade there. So region floor one two three card rewards are usually pretty good. Nope. They're just the same as other card rewards. Headbutt seems nice. There are good options in this store. Feed with Headbutt works pretty well. Vajra is excellent. Vajra with the Inflame already helps us build towards some sort of strength scaling thing. I think Feed on the fifth floor might just be too good though. Because if things go well from here, that single-handedly um, covers our ability to block for the entirety of late game just by giving us 160 health or something. I'm going to upgrade it. I have a YouTube video on armaments metabolical. Uh, potion? Combust would be really good. This is close to the worst possible distribution of gremlins, I think. I'm not sure I'm Rando. Guess it does? Yeah, I guess it does. What is the fat gremlin even holding? I think it's a sign. 
I'm pretty sure it's a sign. I think he's protesting. Not sure what, but I'm pretty confident. Uppercut would be a source of weak for us. I think I can upgrade that to... awkward that my upgrades so far have been on attacks and I just got a Molten Egg. I guess I'll take an Immolate Plus. There aren't that many attacks I'm excited about adding to the deck right now. Terrorid. Oof. If. Sorry. Sorry, I got carried away there. Need exhume? Yeah, exhume's nice. It lets you exhume other exhumes. Which lets you just go infinite. That was a meme, you can't actually do that, that was a lie. Thunderclap plus. I mean it's such a such a good looking card. Other three feeds. This isn't enough max HP per fight. Almost strike plus? Okay. Okay. I have to. I'm taking hallway fights because I have a feed plus. But there's a decent chance that we get to eat this guy. Aya! 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 Good card. And before we discard blood potion without drinking it. Look. What do you want me to do? Drink it before the hexaghost? What are you looking for here? I could probably drink at this fight. I guess that's fine. Mm, I think it's worth it to just get 
absolutely ruin next turn in order to feed. I think that's fine. I guess I could... No, I can't even fire potion. Alright. an emulate plus. There's not enough block in this stack. Alright, whatever. Basically this is what I mean. Basically this. Okay, I gotta take a shrug it off. That's okay, it's fine. You can take a shrug. Uh, disarm plus, inflame plus, one of the two. I feel like with disarm plus, we just die to burns on like turn 10. Let's take inflame plus, die to the overcharge on turn seven instead. Optimal HP against Hexaghost. Infinity, I guess, would be ideal. Oh, funny. Well, it's the answer. <laughs> it was it. <laughs> It is the actual answer. You want your HP to be as high as possible. There are slight breakpoints, but mostly you want your HP to be as high as possible. Infinity is not a number. Infinity is a flat circle. infinite HP is the worst case scenario. Okay, that's a read. That's a read with a capital R-E-E-E-E-E-E-E. 
Do I like block here? I don't know. It's upgraded. It's already upgraded. How do you say no? Limit break? Get out of my face. Limit break? Get out of my face. Alright, I'll take a choker. Do I just assume that it doesn't matter if I take damage because I have 103 health? I think that's going to be my approach here. Okay, sure. Wow, a Carnage plus? Wow. 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 So much damage. I don't know. It feels like time to start being able to beat bosses, which is not going to be a Carnage plus sort of thing. These cost 10 per... Like, unfortunately. I'm gonna get 90 gold for the storm and leave. <laughs> I guess in flame is fine. It actually sucks at drawing cards. I mean, Strike Remove is pretty good. Steroid Potion is pretty good with Reaper in the deck. Do you need to block bludgeon for sale? Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> well, there are our block cards. The game is really not interested in me blocking this run. I don't know if events or hallway fights are better. I guess one of the events lets us feed twice. Necronomicon seems really good. Upgrading strikes and defend seems really good. It's just a hallway fight anyway. How busted is Immolate? I think the number on it is like at least four higher than it should be. Maybe more than that. Were it to be comparable to other AoE damage cards. It's okay for a rare damage card to be good.
rage. Do not go gentle into that dark night. If I had any card draw, I'd be really excited about this card. I have one shrug it off. I think it's probably just not very good. Rage Choker. It still blocks 15 for zero energy. Seems okay. There's a disarm in the deck somewhere. if I inflame steroid potion this turn. Does the steroid potion turn into max HP? 38. 43, 63, plus 21. It's not quite enough. So I guess we're not getting max HP out of this fight. Pretty lame. Clap. Um, it got a lot better when the heart started to exist because you have to get through two artifact charges on turn four. That's the only recent thing that's changed with it, really. Don't know that I want an unupgraded true grit. Feels like just upgrading disarm is probably more exciting. You have five attacks you can play in Rage in your hand, question mark. Well, you've presented a situation we, we, where we're not getting enough block as we should from Rage because we're getting choked. If you believe that that situation matters or not, you can also believe that it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that comment. is giving us block cards and we're not taking them. Ungrateful. That's what I am. Ungrateful. I guess there's like an argument to not killing straight away here. Oh good, we drew feed. Like, in theory, there's a Reaper in our deck still, right? We have a lot of strength. But I think in practice, we take 16 damage this turn. I think in practice, we don't make back the health that we're losing. Flame Barrier is quite a bit more like it. I'll take a Flame Barrier. Unfortunately, it's up against Heavy Blade Plus and Sword Boomerang Plus. That is a little bit awkward. That is a little bit awkward. 
119 max HP right now. I, like, presumably at some point in the heart fight we will have to play a block card, right? Okay. I don't think I want to regen pot. Always a very good event to get. You were knocked unconscious. Tangle me the turn that I draw feed. Oh man. And that's gonna. Oh no. Maybe I didn't need to play Pommel Strike there. Take 15 or 4 max HP. Take 11 for 4 max HP. Yeah. I do. Victory. A powerful fight. Many rewards. Many rewards. Just headbutt immolate on top and end the fight straight away. This might be better. Just kill Gremlin Nub this turn. And try to feed. Yes. 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 All right. I like those relics. Which of these two cards is better? They're both pretty good here. Could also skip. Skipping is pretty uh pretty intense. Probably that one's better. Book of Stabbing returns. In return of Book of Stabbing. This Sunday on Jorbs.television. Probably work out how to vulnerable enemies. There we go. 
steroid potion probably lets us feed this turn. Does it? Gotta do the math. So it's plus 75% and it rounds down. 0.75 times 7 rounded down is gonna be 12 times 5 is 60 plus 72 and this, this is 17. I think I'm just barely short. Oh, I can uppercut instead of thunderclap though. So 18. Each of these is 12. 78. 85, 95 plus 10. Yeah, I get plus 10 out of it, right? I believe this is just barely enough. was a really good potion. I'm not too upset to use it for plus 4 max HP though. Like another uppercut? Red Skull is like a thing. <laughs> Certainly a thing. This deck is very smork. <laughs> Every card and deck is upgraded besides armaments. There is also one headbutt and one shrug and one in flame. But yeah, mostly. I don't feel like I'm super in love with another uppercut. I don't hate it either. I don't know. Heavy bloody. Heavy bloody should be good here. Ornamental fan's a thing. I can't afford it with Heavy Blade. I'd rather just buy Heavy Blade and remove a strike, I think. Deck's just really struggling with drawing cards. And the worse your card draw is, the more important it is to get rid of strikes. What do you think about the Girga in general for Ironclad? Oh, getting strength is cool. Seventy-seven health isn't actually safe from this fight, I don't think. Have Reaper, it's gonna get stolen. So then I can get back Reaper from the person who steals it and gain health against the other one. Except shields are happening. Maybe this is our attack potion. Something on top, maybe lane barrier for next turn? No. Immolate again, thunderclap, maybe thunderclap. Okay, 99 health seems a lot better. top. Uh, we had a bunch of block cards in our deck already anyway. It's 
speed in here, speed's in here. So we're not actually taking that much damage here. We're taking basically a quarter of it. So like eight in order to get a feed on. Seems fine. Uh, I don't know. This is a, a choice where there are two cards here which are obviously very, very strong. But I don't know which one's better. Feels a bit like the deck would like a demon form. Having two reapers though. And we're already gonna have pretty good strength. I think I like reaper more. Paper frog as well. Yeah. No pick barricard. No pick barricard. Uh copy dripper is like a little bit interesting with double reaper now. I feel like Astrolabe is just better though. Doesn't feel like the deck really needs five energy. Feels like these cards are just bad. Uh, these cards are just bad too, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, whatever. It is what it is. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of hallway fights. Actually, there is no campfire on my path for this act. There is no possible campfire. It's not even like I could go a different way to get a campfire. We got one, two, three, four, five hallway fights with three elites. One of them a super elite and then an event. The event. I'm going to look forward to the event. That'll be interesting, probably. be getting plus strength. That's pretty awkward. Because there aren't campfires to lift that. Seems dead based on path. We do have the Reaper thing going on in this deck. Like in that fight, I full healed uh, and gained 4 max HP. So, you know, some stuff is going okay for us. <laughs> Offering plus. Offering plus seems like a super good card here. I don't think there's any way that Burning Pact is getting us other things that make up for it being worse than offering. I don't think so. All right, cool. I will lose a defend plus if I have to fight for a rare run. Thank you. 
Oops. Somehow I didn't take enough damage to play Blood for Blood yet. Man. This is really a struggle right now. Oh my gosh. With two Reapers in the deck, I like and flame over defend plus against vulnerable enemies. One vulnerable enemy. Bob Redshirt. I'm going to show to you as well. Thank you very much for the 12 months up. Just turned on Red Skull for this turn. And turned it off again. And we won the fight. Got an incense burner. Got a shock wave. Got a shock wave. Incense burner is a very good relic. I had one more energy than I realized. Oops. might give me a chance versus the heart. Are you aware that we have 148 hit points? Are you... A chance. We're in it to win it, team. Uh, how do I eat this? How does it go in mouth? True Grit plus Headbutt plus. That's a heavy blade, not a headbutt. I just said the wrong word. Uh, Intimidate's not so great here. I only have 25 cards in the deck. I'm surprised. I guess I have a heavy blade and a pummel as my strength scaling stuff right now. I probably want another heavy blade. Trigger it seems great and all, but probably want another heavy blade. out at 9 strength. There are uh, several floors left to go in this run still. It's fine. Don't want to play Pommel Strike because I don't want to reshuffle without Reaper here. Fourteen times five is seventy. Yeah. And flame plus seems pretty good.
Delicious ghost meat. For Reaper. My health. It's full. Probably wait a little bit for Incense Burner to come back again here. I don't think it was worth it to end the fight last turn. Turn 1 isn't even a very good turn to have Incense Burner against Act 3 Elites. My previous highest was 174 max HP, I think. Just kill now. Nope. Havoc? Probably no. Alright, rep dancing. I think I might respect Reptomancer enough not to try to feed in this fight. I do have an explosive potion, on the other hand. Yeah, I changed my mind. Reptomancer like summons minions and I have a bunch of reapers in my deck. In theory. It's all very theoretical. Okay. Seems like a decent turn. Could turn for intangible. I thought so as well. I thought so as well. Charlie Knight, thanks for three months. I'll go Mushu to you as well. Thanks so much for sticking around and enjoying the show. I'm glad you're here. self-forming clay? Oh, offering? Oh. <laughs> Meat on the bone's a fun one here, I guess. got so much better. I just got like a little bit better. A bit better, definitely. It's generally what happens as you play Slay the Spire. Your deck improves. Slay the Spire, yeah.
I were to draw food. That's unlucky. Do we care? Can I just like take 42 here? Like what if I just pass? I go to 79. So meat on the bones going off. Yeah, I don't care. Schwad Bromerang Plus. Schwad Bromerang. Schwad Bromerang. HP giant head. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess drawing any of the strength gain in the deck would be one way to approach this fight. But have you considered the other way to approach the fight? Not drawing any of the strength gain. great for us right now. This giant head's weakened. back here again. I was just here. I was just here. Um, dealt too much damage. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, that's on me. I dealt too much damage. Oh, well. Swift potion. Calm down. <laughs> just, just play the potions, you tell me. What if we need them later? when it's important. Meat on the bone value is not gonna get itself. That's a lot. I 
I don't know if I'm feeding in this fight. I might just go bludgeon, headbutt, bludgeon. I guess next turn we're intangible. It's gonna take a long time to get feedback again though, right? Yeah. Good first comma. <laughs> Maybe that was meant innocently though. <laughs> Probably not, it's the internet. Alright, cool. Feed on the transient. I don't know if that's going to happen. Hmm. Maybe it would have. Today is just not a day that I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt anymore, I don't think. 24. Let's go Thunderclap Reaper Reaper. Hey, my health is back. I hope there was not to have to play offering. I don't know exactly what I was hoping Almost Strike hit for me, but probably it was not a reasonable expectation. So event or hallway fight? Hallway fight has a higher chance of giving us max HP. The event could also give us max HP. If it gave us uh, relics, it would give us two relics. Uh, we didn't do Mind Bloom yet. We didn't lose max HP from that event that tries to give you a curse either. Hallway can heal us. I wasn't super concerned about my health, to be honest. Like, 172 is, is just a really big number. It's just a really big number. It is all coming back. That's nice, I guess. One hundred and seventy-six out of one hundred and seventy-six. Flex is a card that's very good if you have way too much card draw um, and need some strength scaling. Flex is not a card that's very good at other times.
I wonder if my stupid max HP runs. Like, I wonder if there's too many of them. The boot. I did not expect the boot to ever do anything this run, so that was cool. Point now, I will start drawing my inflames. And my deck will have strength. At any moment, I am ready to strike. Hopefully, on the multi attack turn. I'm just gonna play two. Cannot feed on phase one of this fight, I don't believe. I tried that like earlier today, didn't I? I feel like I tried that earlier today, actually. Oh, it was Hand of Greed, it wasn't Feed. Hand of Greed didn't work in phase one of this fight. Maybe Feed would. Maybe it's different. Yes, I don't know for sure. There's a burn in my deck. I guess I've actually been putting quite a few burns in my deck. That's just the first time I've ever drawn one and noticed, I think. But yeah, I have Immolate that I've been playing for the entire run. Yeah, I haven't updated the run info. We need to fix it. This would be a cool moment for the enemy to be vulnerable. I'm actually getting choked for the first time in the run. Is vulnerable? Is the un in vuln like the un prefix? Does vulnerable mean un? No, there's an L on it. Fuck, what am I even. No. Don't mind me. Just descending into madness. Try to get hit headbutt here. Feed. Vulnerabilis. Able to be wounded. Hmm. I have 180 max HP. So do we block in this fight at any point? Maybe. Maybe. I think I'm gonna want to lift next act. 
is one reason that blocking is appealing. Although maybe I can just like Reaper. And be back at relatively high health somehow. It's a bit of health. Is that not... that doesn't split the time meter. It does seem difficult to hit 200 max HP from here. I'm gonna be weakened next turn or something? Something lame is gonna be happening, I'm pretty sure. That was super lame. Alright, Red Skull has turned on. meant to end the fight now. Incense burners on four. Four is the right number for incense burner to be on here. 2053. Plus one strength for 19 health. 19 health. So we're gonna play probably four Reapers. And then all the other damage. I think it's worth it. There's strength here? Pentagraph, that's adorable. I think just bag of prep shrug. Looks reasonable to me. Combust's an okay card with self-forming clay. Pummel's an okay card. Strength potion as well. Kill something this turn. I go shockwave, bash, pummel. I think the answer is yes. Like with potions, though. Seems okay. I'm 
Thunderclap Double Reaper. Probably all right. Chaos Wonder Waffles. E no. It's okay. Maybe we'll draw feed this turn. Maybe. Actually, four is the right number for Incense Burner to be on. So that's sweet. Three? Three's okay for instance, Burner to be on two. Is 34 plus 0.75 times 34 enough? It's like plus another. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, three or four is generally what you want uh, Incense Burner to be on against the heart. Are there unupgraded skills in my deck? <laughs> there was one. Funny. Hey, potato, I'm doing all right. Go like Shockwave, Heavy Blade Evolve. Seems fine. for blood. Oh, I think I missed that blood for blood started costing low enough to play it from the beat of death. Probably. Probably wasn't even looking at the screen at that point. So we're intangible for the next turn. We also have disarm if we want. I want to hold on to disarm for later though. I'm pretty okay with taking some damage here. Just go Heavy Blade. I'm fine. Uh, the run thing isn't updated right now. will no longer be weak. Enemy will be vulnerable. We'll have 15 strength, 17 strength or something. Seems okay. Is the entire deck upgraded? This in flame is not. Is that the only one? This headbutt is not upgraded. We got close though. And an evolve is not upgraded. I don't know. Do I want the star potion now? Feels like we could use it some other time. Might be better. Nice impervious draw. Whoops.
Well, I've got bad news. I drew the feed already. So I won't be eating the heart, I don't think. I won't give up yet. I won't give up yet. Anything could happen. Wait, I have headbutt. Is this it? I'm gonna wait until next turn though to actually draw it. Red Skull active. And then not active again. Uh, and then active again. And... We got... Cool. 184 max HP is a couple of HP. It's an HP or two. Deck. 